Mighty Dragonborn, caster of magic, I charge thee to go to Aelfindor, whose hoary warriors do threaten my land and bring forth their cousin Daedra to terrify my people. By eye staff, surely I would help thee, but I have already a quest to drink twelve flagons of mead in one hour and then to bed four wenches twice each, so I must with grace decline. By thine honor must thou aidest my quest, for must thou takest up the sword of thy companion Darfang, who took the quest and failed. <laughs> now I know thou jest. My boon maid Darfang wouldst not fail. There be no finer bladesman. If thou chargest him, he wouldst not fall. I did not say he fell. He joined with the dark kings, and in doing so, brought dishonor upon himself. And thee, his friend. No, I cannot believe thy words. And yet, I know Eversnow dost not lie. So for twenty days and three, shall I ride to the land of night, the kingdom of fear, where the peasants ever carry candles, knowing what evil awaiteth them, should they stray beyond the glow. The sovereignty of three dark kings, Elfendor. There, I staff in hand, didst Tormir consider the weight of his quest. A serpent lies the ancient sky, a thread of changed star. Evil stirs in the souls of mortals sway Sorrow reigns Over fields of red Spirit's pain To shine by their grace These are days and nights of venom and blood Heroes will rise as the darkness falls Brave the strife Reclaim every soul that belongs to the beauty of dawn. Oh. 
Boromir did pass through haunted countryside and frightened villages, and through the black gates of the blacker castle of Elfendor. The three dark kings did sneer at the sight of mighty Horomir, and summoned they their champion, Darthang the Blade. My boon companion, I dare not trust my eyes, for then I wouldst believe that thou hast joined with evil and turned thy way from honor and brotherhood. Horomir! If thou dost not go now, one of us must die, for I hate thee! But Hormir was battle ready, and in the echoing halls of night, the blade of Darfang and the staff of Hormir did strike again and yet again. Mighty warriors and mages both, the boon companions, now foes, shook Mundus with their war. The fight might have lasted a year if there were sun and Elfendor to mark time, and either Hormir or Darfang may verily have won. But Hormir saw through the dark the tears in the eyes of his former friend, and saw that the shadow of Darfang were not his own. And so with the ice staff he did strike not Darfang, but with the mighty thum, a voice of storms, his tongue rent the shadow, which cried, Hold, mortal man! The shadow becameth the hag, bent and twisted in her cloak and hood. From her faceless shadow she hissed, Mortal man, dragonborn, Called Hormir, the soul of thy boon companion is my plaything. <laughs> Yet I will take thine in trade, for though ye both have strong arms, thou hast the more clever mind, which my sons, the Dark Kings, need for a champion of Elfindor. Shadowy Hag, release Darfang. And thou mayst use me as thou will. <laughs> my flesh is darkness. She has already devoured me. For my loss of honor and for the sacrifice of my dear friend Hormir, noble Darfang prepares to take his dagger and plunge it in his good heart. No, boon companion. Wait for me at the village banquet hall. I hear thee, and obey. And then did Darfang the Blade leave the castle, while Horomir took the withered claw of the hag and pressed it to his lips. <laughs> to save thine honor this thou hast done, but now thou must be without honor, Dragonborn. As champion of the Dark Kings, my heirs of Grey Navy, thou must help them divide Elfendor. And love me. Thy shadowy hag and thy mistress swell. Shadowy hag, to thee I pledge to honor thy black words, to turn my back on truth, to aid thy dark king's ambition, to divide their inheritance fairly, to love thee, to think thee beautiful. And then to the chamber in the heart of night did Hormir and the hag retire, Kissed he there her wrinkled lips and her wrinkled, sagging breasts. For ten days and nights and three did Hormir and his ice staff battle thus. Darfang awaited, hale yet wan, his strong boon companions promised return. Freed from the darkness, the blade could now see, and offered he a prayer to Kinnereth, Fair warrior goddess, mother of Nords. In darkness your light shines through. Warrior goddess, for you we strike true. When hope is lost and war rages on, warrior goddess, he our blessed song with the Nord's death fallen in battle warrior goddess guide us through shadow grant us courage to fight and sharpen our swords warrior goddess mother of Nord
Then, sweet Kinnereth blew honeyed winds o'er the hills and forest glens of Elfindor, and the caress of warm-blooded Dibella coaxed the blossoms to wanton display, so that Elfindor became a garden of all the senses. The frightened servants of the Dark Kings awoke to find there was naught to fear, and through the once dark streets of the village came the cries of celebration. In the banquet hall of the village, Horomir and his boon companion Darfang embraced and drank a rich mead. The shadowy hag too was smiling, sleeping still in her soft bed, until the morning sun touched her naked face and she awoke, and saw all, and knew all saw her. Fast on the land as the shadowy hag flew into the banquet hall, casting blackest darkness in her wake. All the celebrants could still see her anger in her monstrous face, and they shook with fear, and she cried out, Dragonborn, your oath had said the kingdom was to be divided among my heirs. But Elfindor has been kept whole, while my children were divided, drawn, and quartered. Taid thy dark king's ambition to divide their inheritance fairly. <laughs> Cormir was mightily amused. He swallowed his laughter in his mead, for none should laugh outright at the danger Lord Nocturnal. Without her gray cowl of night, her hideous face forced the moons to hide themselves. Cormir the mighty did not quail. Where's be thine hood, shadowy hag? Mortal man has taken it from me unaware. When I awoke, my face unmasked, my kingdom cast into the light, my dark king heirs in pieces cast. And here my champion smiles. Yet thou kept thy promise truly to never keep thy promise true. And evermore, till thou releaseth me, will I serve thee so. A clever mind in a champion is a much overvalued trait. <laughs> the hag released Hormir's soul and he released her hood. And in the light of darkest dark did she leave Elfindor evermore. And after drinking twelve flagons of mead and bedding four wenches twice each, did Horomir, son of Horgar, return to Eversnow with Darfang. Huzzah! Our hero, our hero, bends a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes with a voice-wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness is past and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know, the dragonborn comes.